Meet NASA Lynx. He's a photographer, a wildlife adventurer, a grateful harvester of Mother Earth, and a legendary spear fisherman. He explores the ocean where he encounters some of Jamaica's most vicious predators while he captures breathtaking underwater footages and forages for food in order to survive. He cooks up a storm and produces mouth-watering dishes that will make you lick your finger. Welcome to Original Living with NASA Link. To join the adventure, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out. It's a next wonderful day here in Jamaica, on the north coast side. So wonderful that we decided to take the day to do some spear fishing. We have come to this location. I have never dived here before, but Kenado did a few times, so he know the area. And at this location, today, the weather is ain't that bad. The wind is a little low, and the sea is kind of calm, so it was looking great. So we get our diving gears together and we set off to the Henchan's Pine. Alright my people, so see the spot here. So I'll jump off in here and see what's going on here now. When we first entered into the water, I realized that it was a little bit sandy, but we decided that we're going to work with it. So we prepare the spear guns and we head off towards this spot. So Kenara made a job on the way to check out the bottom because on the way here is very deep. We could hardly see the bottom. So we reach the location now and I saw two barracudas but at this location have a little depth to it so we use a strategy to lower in the fishes I saw the next barracuda and I made a jump on it. When I was getting in close to it, I realized that it was going to swim away, so I turned back. So Kenada decided that he's going to make a jump. So he head down after it. He get in close to it. He lined it up. He took the shot and grazed it. So we lost that one, but nevertheless, we were seeing a lot of them, so we just have to try again. So here we made a next drop, and a next barracuda. lined up and took the shot. I wasn't sure what happened down there.
because as I said before, here have a little depths and the water was a little sandy. So here I made a next drop on a barracuda, but this one sunk off into the blue. We were feeling good in the dive because we were seeing a lot of fish. So I knew that if we try hard enough, we will land a few fish. Those were some yellow tail snapper, a big school of them, some nice size one, but they wasn't coming in close. the next job just to check out the bottom looked around never saw anything here so here I saw that Kenado Spira rainbow runner and the barracuda swim up at the same time so I make after the barracuda lined it up, took the shot hit it in the belly area and it ripped off the spear The barracuda was underneath, I could see it down there. But the two of us spear guns, they were handset. That's the first fish that get caught and see it's a lovely rainbow runner or a rainbow mackerel. So here I saw next barracuda made the jump on it at the 65 feet area. I move in close to it, line it up. Took the shot, hit it in the head, put it rip off. I realized that the spear damaged one of his eyes. Whenever barracudas have one eye, they are more fearsome. It was lingering around down here, so Kenada made a jump on it. it sink off into the blue. We were spearfishing at a drop off so we lost that one as well. Yo, so a big water. Huh? So a big water under my foot. A large one swam beneath me. I was showing it to Kenado. The expect 
expectation was still high, so a reset must be a gun quickly and we search for the next Barracuda. So here I saw one more. This one was a little smaller. Made it Japanese. I moved in close to it. Took the shot, but the spear fell sharp. I should have gone in a little closer. Gained the attention of our next one. This one was larger, so I made the jump on it. This time, I move in really close because I didn't want to lose this one. I took the shot and I gave it a stone shot right in the head. a nice one. I was really glad that I caught this one. It took many attempts before I got this one. So I put this one in my fish bag and we head off to try to see if we could get one more. So here I saw our next one. This one start running, head off to the deep. You can see the jump off here right there. That jump off seems as it jumped to a boat. 400 feet or probably 600 and from the surface to the bottom here as I said before it's 60 feet so here's our next barracuda heading down on it this one saw me run off no shot from it and at the same time I saw a large one that one came in close but not close enough that I could take a shot I was pointing, showing it to Canada he saw it and made a jump on it But that barracuda was staying wide, we couldn't get in close to it. So while we were in the water, we realized that the water was starting to get a little dirtier. So we decided that we're going to head out of the water. And at the same time, some rainbow runners 
swim right past me some lovely size one I wasn't looking so I saw them lay the sizes look like some 7 pound to 8 pound so that's it for the underwater segment yes my people so we jump out of the water you know, you know? two of us me and Ken are there yeah man and um, the dive was nice you know I lie the dive was nice you see a lot of fish yeah man all different species yeah, so we enjoy the dive. We don't, we don't, we don't catch a lot though, but we, we, we catch two nice fish. Yeah man, so fish them in the water from the seaside are going to ease off. We can kind of come back and we change our wetsuit and things, so we are going to clean them up here now. Yeah man, so see what we find here. People, so see the catch here. Yeah man, we have one barracuda here, so we have one rainbow runner or a rainbow mackerel, you know. Yeah man, two lovely fish we catch today. Mm. We see a lot of barracuda as we me say from before. Yeah man, and we see one big school of rainbow run out. Some lovely ones swim past, but we don't get no chance with them. Mm. So see what going on here as we me say. A nice barra look like him have about eight, about eight pound. And we have a nice boat, a two and a half pound rainbow runner. Yeah man, so we are going to clean them up and get them ready for the road, you know? Yes, my people, sir. Lovely fish, you know? people so so I go on you know yeah man the two fish them will clean up I did have said this about um, two and a half it's about three pound man in, in big and way I did have said yeah man so at least then catch his feet two away today you know yeah man so I go string them up you know with a piece of wire yeah I don't know catch a barra you know mm, so I give thanks to that one at today these 10 catch up yeah man yes my people so you don't know we don't really see you now uh, stand the water a little whitey whitey you know because the wind come up on it so it's choppy yeah man but nevertheless it's still calm you know but that's through the wind so we are go home you know Let's see what can go on. A long time, you know, eat piece of barra, so I'm going to cook piece of that one in here, man. So you want to stay tuned to the channel, all right? If you want to see the cook up part. Me reach home. Can I reach home to come and drop him off and see, see the barra, yeah? Can I go on home with the rainbow runner? Huh? Yeah, man, so. At this one day, I know. So I'm going to do with him, I know. I'm going to slice him up. Because. My granny, she says she loves barracuda. Yeah, man, and I want to give my mother peace too, you know. Other people they ask to fish a long time, but we don't think no know that this ago can stretch a long time. Me, me, me did I try to get at least two, but you know, see the settings. I want me to put it. 
Yeah, man. So, I'm going to cut up the one and you know, see how much I can get out of time. See what I'm going to do, boy, you know. How much I can get out of time, you know. Watch them teeth, you know, because they're not laugh. Sharp. I finish a shop, get the one in my fish. This is enough, you Everything, yeah, yeah, man. So, I have a head there, so you don't look a piece of the same here. So, I do it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven slices. And so, yeah, man, five up at top, four in the middle. There, so, yeah, that they make eleven slices. The tail not count, the tail of the dash, yeah, man, plus the head. Nice fish. So, I have a bag it up here now. As I say, my mother and my granny have to get out of this. This is how we are going to get cooked. Yeah, man. So we will get some season on these now and thing and get it ready for the pot. So, so I season it up here. Yeah. Well seasoning. Yeah, man. Just the regular things I man it. So I brown, I have a brown stew this. Yeah, man. With some banana dumpling, you know. So I have some flour need up here. So. We have some green banana here, so see them, you know, you know the settings. Water go and boil up. When you start boil up, we drop in the dumpling there, man. Although they can't go in because yeah, but I love when it start boil up still. Drop in the dumpling, drop in the banana. You don't know. So, I'm going to drop on the fish you now. Pot pan fire. So, I'm going to drop in some oil and make it a little bit. And I don't want a lot of oil in here, you know. I'm going to fry me and fry it up I'm going to use them on that I'm going to drop in these three slices of fish you know, you know? I'm going to burn them you can burn them like a brown you know? yeah. so I'm going to burn them burn them for a couple of seconds and I'm going to turn them and add the rest of it into them Let it pot in the middle, you know. Cook it here. Yeah. I'm here alone with the camera, so I couldn't get to the kitchen. I do everything, you know. Yeah, man, so see it here. Yeah. I go just get this, make it go on, you know. Come down, you know. Banana and dumpling are going bad over here, so see me, you know. Yeah, man. Yes, my people, this name just lock off, you know. So I'm going to share it out here now and see what go on for it. Alright, see it here now. Yeah man, we have a few fingers of banana, cheese dumpling and a slice of the bar of this, you know. So I dinner this, so give thanks to this and next day again, you know. Wonderful catch today. Yeah man, so guys, you know the thing, you know. Share up with families and friends. Yeah man, and thus, if you haven't already, Remember, you know, subscribe for the next upload, alright? Yeah, man, so next links I say, catch you in the next one.